types of chronic pain, and certainly fibromyalgia is a clear example, people require what is called a multidisciplinary treatment approach. That includes medications, that includes education, talking to people, telling them what they have, what they don't have. It certainly includes varieties of exercise. It might include behavior modification. So within the variety of exercise, Tai Chi is one component. Um, cardiovascular fitness exercise, as I just mentioned, there's very strong evidence that it's helpful in people with fibromyalgia. People might say, well, why does Tai Chi work? Is it the exercise part of the Tai Chi? Because there's certainly stretching and, and, and some strength building in Tai Chi. Is it the mental component, the relaxation technique? My own bias is probably a combination of a number of uh, interventions in Tai Chi. And the beauty of it, I think, when you think of all the millions of elder people in China doing their Tai Chi in the morning outside, is this is something I think very adaptable to many people. This study used an active intervention, and education and some stretching does seem to benefit a lot of people with fibromyalgia in general or chronic pain. So this was a comparison group. Half the people received the uh, Tai Chi, half the people got the stretching and the education, same amount of hours per week over a 12 week period of time. And the Tai Chi group performed better at the end of that.